All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give our praises, our glory, and our honors unto you. Howard Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Bashem Kakudash, double honors to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This will be an update on the mark of the beast. Man, I just want to say, hey, yo, we are definitely seeing uh, this, this prophecy begin to uh, take shape in the earth, man. Um, this first article here is from uh, the WallStreetJournal.com. Uh, and this came out a few weeks ago. It says China turns to health rating apps to control movements during coronavirus outbreak. Uh, tech giants such as Alibaba and Tencent tap to develop color coded systems to classify people based on their health conditions and travel history. OK, so here we go. All right. Um, this is the system of the mark of the beast being set up this is uh the image of the beast okay because once they can control your movements or watch your movements with this virus then they'll be able to introduce a system that works for them when that they can track you and control you know control you and track you when you have this microchip okay it says uh, China's technology titans are deploying health rating systems to help authorities track the movement of millions of Chinese who are preparing to resume work at factories and other businesses. Adding a new controversial tool in the country's battle to contain the fast spreading coronavirus outbreak. All right. It's controversial to, to track you, but remember how, ch how China moves their communist country. So they're. Uh, their 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 people are more susceptible to, to these types of uh, extreme measures. These are really draconian type measures. Okay, but as they like to say, the end justifies the means. So they're they're doing these things, and what uh, they would say is the best interest of, of uh, their people. You know. <clears throat> It says, uh, and I'll just read uh, the rest of this. China's official Xinhua News Agency reported this week that the country's cabinet, the state council, had instructed Alibaba Group uh, Limited Ltd. affiliate Ant Financial Services Group to explore the nationwide rollout of a rating app. And that's what they're going to do with this chip when it comes. All right. Roll out a nationwide microchip. And it could be, a, a, you know, an app on your phone or however, but it's coming. Okay? It's coming. This uh, microchip, this mark of the beast is coming. All right? Now, I have another article. Uh, let's see here. Man, this is back up. Yep. This is from uh, the Sacramento Bee.com. It says, this California restaurant takes your temperature at the door to fight coronavirus. This is from March 9, 2020, the year of prophecy. And this prophecy of the mark of the beast, I'm going to say it again, is soon to be uh, come to pass. Okay? So it says here, a California restaurant is checking customers' temperatures before serving them due to the coronavirus. Uh, Sichuan Impression has been using infrared thermometers. Infrared thermometers since January at its locations in Los Angeles, Tustin, and Alhambra, Alhambra in order to screen customers, the Los Angeles Times reported. If a person has an abnormal symptom, including a fever, the restaurant will help Contact local medical services according to the restaurant's Instagram post. And uh, brothers may or may not have brought this information out. Um, certain brothers or teachers, or certain apostles. But I find this interesting, you know, because, you know, this coronavirus is a catalyst to, uh, to, to, uh, to this next prophecy coming to pass. And... And that's how it's looking, okay? This is uh, the next step, okay? The next big step.
the uh, or the next big step is uh, the mark of the beast. And we've been saying this. All right. Start with the apostles and the elders. All right. Here at Great Millstone on down to ourselves as, as other teachers, you know, leaders and brothers. You know, we've been saying this, that this was going to happen. OK. And we talked about this infrastructure being set up around the world, certain things being tested, uh, technology being developed. And you Israelites have been, you know, bull jiving around. You've been jiving around, you know, not getting serious with this truth. And these prophecies are coming to pass. And, um, you know, a, a, a lot of these, these, uh, these men and women of folly were going to have and, uh, uh, questions and you're not going to have any answers except trust in Esau. And that's what's going to have, have uh, the blind lead the blind. And that's going to get you destroyed, you know. So here, uh, it says here, uh, those who don't comply with the temperature check won't be served, the restaurant said. We at Seach One Impression respect and enjoy having our guests who come from all corners of the world. Let me read that again, all right? It says, those who don't comply with the temperature checks won't be served, the restaurant said. Well, that, that sounds like Revelation, the 13th chapter. So this is just the beginning, you know. This is just the uh, the, uh, the prototype, you know. We see how people react, and we tell them if they don't get checked or if you don't have the vaccine, then this will happen, that will happen, you know. This sounds a lot like Revelation, the thirteenth chapter, okay. Um, matter of fact, let me get that scripture. All right. Revelation 13. Okay. This is Revelation 13 and 15. And he, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should, uh, of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you uh, don't comply, then, then you can be killed. Right, because this image, the image of the beast, this is the image, this is the way of life that NATO and these other Edomite countries in America, all right, this is what they want to uh, uh, implement. This is what they want to introduce, a new, a new way of a life where whatever the, the, the government says goes. Take what to eat, drink, think, all of that, okay? They provide you the... the, the uh, the options and you make the choices and, and no matter what choice you make, it's, it's in their favor. That's what this, uh, and that's what they've been training you, you Americans to be about. That's why this old Democrat and Republican thing is a sham. And it could be possibly that they, uh, uh, um, uh, do away with this election this year. Okay. Because you people are already, and they're already testing you now to see whether or not you, you know, you, you, you are you listen, you know, are you willing to let the government take control? Okay. Because that's how it's looking. If they can shut down your jobs and, and schools, then they have you in the palm of their hands. And this is why we tell you Israelites, you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans out there to not trust Esau, not to trust this man, this system, because it's going to destroy you. Micah 2 and 10. Because now they're going to be in control of you and be, be in control of your kids. You're not going to be in control of your kids because they're going to control you. Okay? This thing is getting real out here, man. And this is what uh, uh, us here at, at GMS, at Great Mist, have been saying. These things are coming down the pipe, and now we're seeing them take shape and form in the earth now. Okay? This, this coronavirus has started a lot of, of, of uh, uh, things when it comes down to these... these, uh, these uh, Devil's agenda, okay. Um, back in the scriptures, it says, "And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a marker in their right hand or in their foreheads." You got these celebrities, Idris Elba and, and Kevin Durant and Tom Hanks and uh, 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 certain other actors and celebrities. 
that they have coming out saying they had this coronavirus and they could have it. And, and, you know, they're already saying that they're showing that they have no symptoms, right? Like this guy uh, uh, on the Utah Jazz, not, uh, 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 not Rudy Gobert, but this other one, Mitchell, I believe he's on the Jazz. And he says he still doesn't show no symptoms, but they're still having them quarantined along with these other celebrities. And then these celebrities are going to push the vaccine, say get the vaccines, you know, and it's a mandatory thing. Okay. Um, and they are going to use that test run to, to give you the microchip. Okay. You get the vaccine. And then as this coronavirus collapses this economy, you know what? Let me keep reading. All right. Let me keep reading. It says, and he called it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's going to be the, uh, the microchip implant, all right, 2020, man, 2020 is a big year for prophecy, all years have been a big year for prophecy, but this, these prophecies are moving quick, 2020, okay, let's see here, all right, Uh, so this is another article, all right, this is from uh, Newsweek, this is from the day, March 18, 2020. It says, Indian government stamps hands, stamps hands of people under coronavirus quarantine as reports emerge of people fleeing isolation facilities. So they're stamping your hand now. Does that not sound like Revelation 13 and 16? Okay, now, now the mark of the beast is not a stamp. Okay. But it's... it's, it's one step closer. All right. It's one step closer. It says. Here it says uh, the government of uh, Maharashtra in India has started stamping the hands of people in quarantine over the new coronavirus so they can be identified by officials. So there's stamp, there's hands, there's there's ID. All right. The hands of people. All right. But. Uh, uh, yo, it's self-explanatory at this point. It's self-explanatory at this point. Okay? And you can see here, it says, state officials have also said anyone breaking home, uh, home quarantine, quarantine will be forcibly sent to an isolation facility and that it is a punishable of, offense to refuse compulsory quarantine. This is going on in India. In Maharashtra in, in India. All right. So I'm going to go back to the scripture. Revelation 15 and 16. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause and as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So you could possibly be killed. If let's say you don't want to take the vaccine, they could. OK, what's the way well, he's infected? You know, the coronavirus has mutated. He's infected. Well, then they could do a, 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 an execution or a summary execution. Look that up. Summary execution during the time of martial law. Okay? The apostles and elders of Great Millstone have spoken on these things. Okay? They have warned us about it and we warn you about it. It says... Uh, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. But that mark is not an actual stamp. All right, the stamp is not the mark of the beast. The stamp on the hand is not a mark. It's not the mark of the beast. Hey, when you go to an amusement park, they give you a stamp on the hand. They used to do that back in the day. You know, stamp your hand. You had that little glow in the dark. Stamp on your hand all night, you know. And they just wash it off. So that's not. That's not the uh, mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is going to be engraved and cut into, okay, into your skin or your forehead, or your, or your hand or your forehead. And you won't be able to buy or sell. And that's what was going on at that restaurant uh, uh, in Sichuan that I read about, that if, you don't, that if you don't comply to the temperature check, then you can't eat, you can't be served, you can't buy food. And if the restaurant doesn't comply... 
uh, uh, if this thing is made mandatory in the future, then they won't be able to sell. So here's your, this is your image of the beast being set up in the earth now. And now they're stamping the hands of these people in India. Okay. Um, it's here and that's all I need to. Well, look, where it says the, uh, this falls reports people are fleeing isolation facilities in the region over poor conditions in them. On March 15th, uh, it says an article, it's part of a typo, an article saying people in India were fleeing isolation wards. One woman refused to go because the conditions were so unhygienic it made her wretch, her brother told the Times of India. Okay? So people are fleeing, and this is what's going to happen over the whole world. I'm going to go to Revelation uh, third chapter. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm working my way backwards. This is Revelation 3 and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. These, these devils are going to try to tempt us with taking this microchip. We shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is going to be over the whole earth. Okay. Now, when you go to the previous chapter. Okay. All right. Revelation 2. All right. 2 and 10. It says, fear none those things which thou shalt suffer. Okay. So we ought to have faith and not fear. It says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So they could punish you like they, they, they're doing in India if, if you don't participate in the quarantine. All right. It says that ye may be tried. So this is all a trial. All right. And that's what I wanted to get. All right. The trial upon the earth. And ye shall have tribulation 10 days. So that's a, a, a short amount of time. Be thou faithful unto death. Because they could punish you with death. That's why they got these, these guillotine laws. Okay. That that you've also been warned about. All you Israelites have been warned about the guillotine. They have these guillotine laws uh, ready to go here in America. And they could kill you. Okay. But it says in the scriptures, be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. Okay. So our Lord is going to. Protect us if we are faithful, even on the debt. But we are not to take this microchip, this mark of the beast. Okay? Now it says, this is from BeInCrypto.com. Uh, coronavirus could force central banks to change their attitudes towards digital currencies. This is uh, today's date, uh, March 18, 2020. This is four hours ago. All right? All right, uh, 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 2020 year prophecy. Okay, and I've done already. I've already done plenty of videos on this topic of these governments, these central banks, and these governments moving towards digital currencies. And who own the central banks? The Lisa Visa, the 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 the, the, uh, uh, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers. They own the central banks. They're the the uh, uh, the banking families of the earth. So they want to move towards digital currencies now. All right, and this this coronavirus could bring this this thing all the way in. So the economists believe the COVID nineteen pandemic, and how I, I'm telling you that that this thing is a pandemic, and then they finally declared it uh, uh, last week. It says. Uh, economists believe the COVID-19 pandemic, which has spread across Europe and America in recent days, could push the global economy to the brink of recession. OK. Uh, J.P. Morgan with J.P. Morgan uh, are the elites. That's their banking firm. One of them. It says J.P. Morgan analysts have forecasted a coronavirus driven economic recession to hit America and Europe by July 2020. And, and they could force, forecast that because they have, uh, uh, um, you know, warlocks on their side. If you don't know that, that, that these people are satanic and the devil in the earth by now, 2020, then 
that you've been under a rock about the Illuminati all these years. Okay, they can forecast these things, and that's what these analysts have so-called predicted based off the, of course it's based off, you know, Esau and his witchcraft and his demons, but it's based off their uh, data that they have um, put together, okay? It says, the economic recession of 2008 saw the birth of Bitcoin as a potential solution to decentralize the monopoly, the monopoly of central banks. Now, an upcoming economic crisis could cause tokenization to take off as an alternative to many physical assets. They're going to turn these digital tokens, digital currencies, and that's going to take over these physical assets. And this is something that, that, that we've been profit, Man. <laughs> hey, man, the writing is on the wall, okay? The system is done. Okay, and the least think that they're going to be able to control it and bounce back. No, these are the prophecies of the Lord that's taking place. It says coronavirus outbreak triggers stock market crash. Trading on American stock exchanges was partially suspended after the S&P index hit the lower circuit on Monday, marking the third such instance in less than a week. The latest equity route forced the Federal Reserve to plunge into action and announce that who owns the Federal Reserve Bank's. That's your elites. These elites, all right? Not your elites, but these, these, uh, uh, these wicked elites of Esau, okay? It says, and announced an emergency rate cut, which they brought them, they, they took it to 0%. Uh, it says, to provide support for an alien economy. Equity markets had not witnessed a sell-off of this scale since the Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy in 2008. Uh... Let's see here. It was a point I wanted to make. Yep, this is it. The next economic slowdown could take digital currencies mainstream. The previous economic meltdown witnessed in 2008 led to the conception of Bitcoin by the pseudonymous developer Satoshi Nakamoto. Okay. The Bitcoin Genesis block. All right. Genesis, because it was the beginning of uh, this new digital currency revolution that they want to take place. Since the first block ever mined on the blockchain, infamously, infamously, infamously referenced the following headline from the Times, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. Okay. For a long time, however, digital currencies were only used by enthusiasts who believed in the vision of a decentralized currency. Uh, right, because they were the testers of this thing. More recently, the cryptocurrency bull run in 2017 made Bitcoin and other digital currencies more visible in the public eye. That was back when Bitcoin, remember when Bitcoin was worth all this in the stock, and it was just going up and up and up, and then right after that, it started going down. Okay? and this, But it's been in the public eye for all these years. Because this is them setting up their image. Alright? And if and when the stock market crashes, that, that's what they're going to introduce. Okay? Now, uh, uh, the next scripture I want to get. All right. This is the book of, uh, of Zephaniah 1 and 10. And I always bring this out. Zephaniah 1 and 10, which, you know, which goes into this economic crash to come. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi I was shy, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and then howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Okay. And the modern day fish gate, where well, well, this market and this commerce is taking place, is the stock market. That, you know, that's the market. All right. And these other global stock markets, the ones here in America, the ones around the world. But the Lord says it's going to be a howling and a great crash. Okay. Then it goes on to say, How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down. And who's the merchant people in this market, in this spiritual Maktesh? Uh, uh, these different shareholders and these companies that are involved in the stock market today. You know, the S&P and the Dow Jones, which monitors these things. Okay? It says they are cut down. Now, you notice that all these uh, 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 CEOs of these companies are stepping down now. Bob Iger of uh, Disney stepped down. Bill Gates of, uh, of Microsoft stepped down. Okay? among other ones, okay? Because they understand that this crash is going to come soon, 
All right. And a lot of them more than likely have their money already invested in these digital currencies. Facebook CEO, uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, they talked about the, uh, the Facebook Libra, okay? Given, you know, uh, other digital currencies across the world. Japan has, has one. Sweden has a digital currency. And, and these companies are funding it. The CEOs are funding these things because they know that the world is on a shift, okay? An economic shift. But the Lord says, How ye inhabitants of Mactech, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. So, But the Lord says that they're going to be cut off, and they're not going to uh, uh, implement this new world order. The last-ditch effort is going to be them trying to forcibly give you this microchip, you know, the mark of the beast, okay? And they're only going to get so far, and that's when the Lord is going to destroy them. All right, now verse 12 says, and this is what's important for us Israelites, man. Especially those of you that 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 think that 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 great millstone has been BSing around and don't have the truth. Well, look, what what we've been saying is what's coming to pass. Okay, what we've been saying according to these scriptures is coming to pass now. It says, and it it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. Jerusalem is a people before us a place. The people of Jerusalem are you so-called black fans and Native Americans. We've been telling you for years that you are the Israelites. Okay. Here in America and scattered around the world. All right? And the Lord is, is, is searching our people. This is why you're seeing these groups like ISUPK and IUIC and these groups, group, these other Israelite groups outside of Great Millstone are being publicly really shamed because the Lord is searching them whether or not they're, they're, they're teaching the right uh, doctrine. It says, and, and it says that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men. That have settled on the leaves. And, and a lot of them have taken the bag. They've sold out. And the Lord is going to punish them. Alright. It says they're saying their heart. The Lord will not do good. Neither will he do evil. Because the Lord's about to do evil in these times. It says therefore their good shall become a booty. And their house is a desolation. And, and we're seeing these houses in, different, in these different states. Around the world. In these countries. A lot of people are being shut up. Okay. You know, you're not uh, uh, able to go out. You're on curfews. They're on lockdowns 24-hour, 24-7 lockdowns for weeks up to uh, 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 the coming months that they're declaring now in these different governments, okay? So now you, you Israelites, you're all about to, to, to uh, 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 see who the devil really is, Okay? It says they shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. And that happened in slavery. Okay, but guess what? The end of our slavery is at hand. But we got to believe in the Lord. Okay? We have to believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's the only way for us to get through these issues, these evils that are coming in the earth. Because this crash is coming. Okay? Um... But I think that's pretty much the point. Um, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. Man. Well, I, I. Yeah, I read this. It says another recession could see public faith in central banks and governments dwindle, and capital flow from equity and bond markets to cryptocurrencies. Okay, emerging economy currencies have especially witnessed a sharp sell-off against the U.S. dollar. Bitcoin may be the preferred choice among investors to hedge this loss. All right, even Trump himself has uh, uh, talked about getting an e-dollar, a digital currency uh, 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 for the U.S. the e-dollar, and that could be to hedge against have a a hedge against this loss that's coming because the elites are going to shift the monetary system to digital. Just like when uh, all those years ago when you had to have a digital uh, uh, box, you know, you got digital cable instead of um, uh, the actual cable from the, um, the, uh, uh, um, the grounded cable companies. Now everything pretty much, I mean, you, you know, you still use your coaxial cord, 
but everything is beamed down to the box now, okay? And they're going to do that with the monetary system. It says, furthermore, the European Central Bank and other reserve banks will be forced to simplify laws for the cryptocurrency industry in the unlikely event of an economic slowdown, which is very likely, according to prophecy. Central banks will be under severe public pressure to improve the economy and could even turn the crypto market to ensure a smoother flow of capital. All right, so here we go. And they even got this image here of uh, Bitcoin supposed to be the, um, the uh, serum, the antidote to revive on these countries when it's really, that's really going to be the microchip. That syringe really subliminally represents the microchip. Okay, and that's what's coming. The market of beasts. The system is being set up. The coronavirus uh, um, is a catalyst. Um, and we're going to see what happens from here on out. But with that, I hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honors unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.